What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tomorrow is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Just last month was Mother's Day, and we hit 250 subscribers. We just hit 500 subscribers. So thank you all for watching, liking, commenting. Really appreciate that. So special request from my pops. Uh, he's been asking me for a long time, so this is for you, pops. Happy Father's Day, and tonight we're making chicken fried rice on the Blackstone. Let's do it. So first step, we're gonna take a stick of butter, real butter, and let it get to room temperature. Try to mash it up as best you can. And then we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of minced garlic. The more you mix, the easier it gets. And you wanna just get that garlic nice and spread around. And then you wanna add about a teaspoon of soy sauce. And mix that up and oh my god this looks so good and it smells even better so for the ingredients we have one cup diced yellow onions two tablespoons sesame seeds one cup diced carrots one cup diced scallions, two chicken thighs diced, garlic butter that we already talked about, two eggs whisked, and two cups of rice cooked the night before. So with the rice, I use jasmine rice. I use two cups of rice, two cups of water. Just put it in the steamer, let it do its thing, and let it sit in the fridge the night before. Uh, stir it up uh, once or twice. You want to kind of dry it out a little bit. You do not want it to be too uh, sticky. All right, so time to cook. We've got the onions down and we just added some carrots. We prepped it with a little bit of oil. Initially, we've got the temperature on about uh, medium-high heat. You want to get this grill or griddle pretty hot. And we're going to fry these bad boys up a little bit and get them nice and toasty. And once we get them done, about a minute, actually, a minute before they're done, we're going to add the scallions. But uh, these are going to take probably about five minutes before these are ready to add the scallions. After a couple minutes, you wanna stir them around a little bit, make sure they're not getting burnt on the bottom, which they're not. Uh, but you just wanna double check on them. Stir them up, it's always fun. Ticky ticky with the uh, the spatulas, that's always the fun part. And just make sure you're stirring them up so they get cooked nice and evenly. And with this dish, do not worry about making a mess because I've been to plenty of hibachi restaurants and they usually make a mess. At this point, the carrots and onions are almost done, but you can hear the rain coming down. It is coming fast and coming down hard. So we're, we're still cooking. We moved the griddle over underneath uh, the sail shade that we have, but you can see it's hitting the grill. It's time to move. All right, so we moved over the griddle a little bit. It's still coming down out there, but we're dry. Uh, sail shade is awesome by the way uh, so about a minute left and we add our scallions 
and we're just going to mix them up and get everything mixed nice together let the flavors join in and let them get happy and just keep mixing i mean it's that's part of the fun anyway so let it mix up stir them up that's why they call it stir fried rice because you stir fry everything So the temperature, I turned it down just a tad. I don't want it scorching hot. So it's about uh, medium, about medium, medium, medium low. But you can see the, uh, the carrots browning a little bit. The onions are caramelized. And we just put the scallions on. So they're looking really good. And remember, we're gonna add these to the rice and cook them even more, so. They're gonna be nice and crisp. So here we go, time to take them off. Once the onions, carrots, and scallions are done, time to cook the chicken. So we have our thighs, I'm gonna pop them down on the grill, griddle, and let them get nice and warm, medium to medium high heat. And these are only gonna take literally four or five minutes to cook. We've already got them diced up. gonna kind of spread them out here I noticed a couple uh, that I did not cut thin enough or small enough so use the, uh, the old spatula that's a knife and no problem so we stir them around that's it stir them around let them sit let them cook Add some garlic butter that we made previously. And that's gonna give it some great flavor. That's it, once you add the garlic butter, you start stirring it around. It all mixes in together and it smells delicioso. So after about a minute or two, you want to stir it up and keep it going and you can see it's looking delicious. So here's where you want to have fun. Stir it up, have fun. You can see the sizzle turned up the heat to high, add some salt, add some fresh ground pepper. And man, that chicken looks great. This dish is so easy. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of parts involved, but it's fun, it's easy. You just gotta prep it in advance. You get your bowl of rice, you get your bowl of carrots, you get your bowl of onions, you get your uh, bowl of green onions, scallions and your chicken and as long as you prep ahead a time it's fun you feel like a, a chef at Benihana <laughs> it's really fun so stir it up here and you'll see in about two minutes we're gonna bring everything together 
and you're gonna say, wow, that looks amazing. Chicken is done. Like I said, it took about three or four minutes. You don't want to overcook it. We're gonna put it back in in a minute, uh, but yeah, it looks great. It smells delicious. So we're gonna take our uh, scraper and just clean it up real quick. You can see how efficient this is. Does not take long at all. Turn down the heat a little bit. I can feel it getting hot. Again, you're in control here. So if you feel it's getting too hot, just turn it down. If you feel it's getting too low, turn it up. There's no, uh, it's not an exact science. You just kind of have to deal with it as you go. Clean the spatulas. Clean up the grill a little bit. And you can see the smoke coming off. That grill is smoking. So now the griddle is a little bit clean. We put down some more oil, spread it out, and second to last step, we're gonna add our eggs. We got two scrambled eggs here, nothing special. We just wanna scramble them up, cook them, and you can see <laughs> this black stone's amazing. It's like the best non-stick pan you've ever had. It does not stick anywhere, even even amongst the sides. Just pull it away. It's no big deal. Look at that. <laughs> Chop it up. Hibachi set, hibachi chef now, and we make this uh, scrambled eggs in about 30 seconds. That's it. And we pull it off and get ready to put it back in. Time for the main event, the rice. So we've got our two cups of fried, or not fried yet, of steamed rice that we cooked the night before. And we're putting them down on top of the oil. And we're gonna do a few things to this, but uh, first thing is we're gonna start to heat it up a little bit. So you can see them jumping around on there. Griddles, medium to medium high heat. Start spreading it out, flipping it around. We're gonna get it nice and toasty before we add all the ingredients. And that's basically what we're gonna do is add all the ingredients that we've already cooked. We're basically gonna add it back in, stir it up, and that's gonna be the finished product. So here I'm just kind of messing around, trying to play some fun, kind of like the hibachi chefs, how they make their own little entertainment. I'm trying to entertain as well. So I'm trying to make something here. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. You can list it down below in the comments and tell me what you think I made. Here we go. So for my first time playing like a hibachi chef, you tell me how I did, please, in the comments. I would love it. 
And just like that, the masterpiece is gone. So back to cooking. Uh, once you add your soy sauce, you want to mix it up, chop it up, make sure it looks and is all evenly cooked. You want to add some more garlic butter at this point, two tablespoons. Mix it all up, get that rice right because remember you cook this the night before so you want to get it nice and moist now uh, with the, the garlic butter and you can see it's raining it's coming down hard <laughs> uh, we're, we're cooking quick as we were trying to get finished and get out of this rain uh, but we're still dry we're still doing good just kind of mixing it up here and you can see it's looking great so now we're going to add our ingredients. First up is carrots, onions, scallions, and eggs. Boom. Just like that. Throw them in there. Then we're going to add the chicken right on top of that. So we put some salt and we put some pepper right here and unfortunately because of the rain a little crazy i forgot the sesame seeds but it's all right <laughs> it still tasted great and here we go chop it up move it around it's really coming down now you can see the the rain in the background going nuts but we're having fun, we're cooking, it smells great, chopping it up, cannot wait to taste this. First time stir fry, not stir fry, I'm sorry, first time chicken fried rice on the Blackstone and it is coming out amazing, even with the, <laughs> the weather conditions as they are. You can see it looks great, you want to keep working it. Uh, I, f I found that the, the more you work it, the better it gets mixed up, and it just look, 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 look how this looks. It's just amazing looking. I mean, that's as good as any chicken fried rice you're going to get in any restaurant, I can guarantee you that. It was outstanding. So let's go inside and check it out. But first, let me show you what we're dealing with here. Look at the water coming off the sail. It's a tropical monsoon. This happens daily in the summer, I gotta tell you, in Miami. But we deal with it. Woo wee! Man, let me tell you, this chicken fried rice looks delicioso. And considering we cooked it in a freaking downpour, I think we did pretty good. So, rain, sleet, or snow. Big Cat always delivers, just like the postman. I know, cheesy. All right, give it a shot. Here we go. Some yum yum. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Oh. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Wow, that came out just like if I was at Benny House. Mm. Very good. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking. Please continue. Uh, we're growing super fast, 500 subscribers already. Uh, just keep on going and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.